Ahoy there, YouTube! I'm back again today for another game review. It's very excited to check it out. Munchkin Side Quest from Steve Jackson Games. This is for two to six players, one to two hours to play. And Munchkin Side Quest is an expansion to the immensely popular Munchkin universe. This can be used with any standard Munchkin game. Super Munchkin, Zombie Munchkin, Wizard of Oz Munchkin, X-Men Munchkin, any of the Munchkins. Just not like the Munchkin CCG game. Um, and it is going to allow you to pre perform secret tasks that will give you levels, that will give you treasure, that will give you certain perks. Does it add enough to the game for me to recommend it, though? Let's open it up, and I'll tell you what I think. All right, then, we're going to take a look at what you're going to get inside of Munchkin Side Quest. So first and foremost, we have a handy-dandy rule booklet. You're just going to need this side right here. Very clear and concise. Should have you up and running in no time at all, and I can teach you how to play with them right now. So Munchkin Side Quests are going to be a small deck of cards that will allow you to gain treasure or levels or uh, certain special perks that you'll be able to use. And you're going to start off the game with three of these side quests. And the side quests have the same distinctive artwork and humor that you know and love from Munchkin. Uh, so let's just show you a couple of them, then we'll show you exactly how that works. This one, Power Lifter, have two or more big items in play simultaneously, go up a level. So if you had that, you show this card, boom, you go up a level. And you can complete oh, more than one of these on a turn. Next we have Double Tap, kill a monster with at least two monster enhancers played on it. Pretty difficult sometimes. You may forego all treasure for this fight to go up an extra lever level, and this may be the winning level. So this is one of those rare cards where if you can hold on to it and play it at the right time, you can sneak your way into a victory. Uh, overkill. We win a combat by 10 or more points, draw two extra treasures. So you're going to have three of these in your hand. When you complete them, you'll be able to draw back up to three. Also, there will be some instances, uh, especially if you're playing with different versions of Munchkin, where you can't complete a particular objective. If you can't complete a particular objective, then you show it, you discard it, put it off to the side, and you can get a new one. Now, the one thing that I like, well, another thing that I like about this is the fact that you can't plan too much for these because if you die, you actually lose the cards that you have. Now, granted, dying doesn't happen terribly often in Munchkin, but it can happen. And so you can't do an incredible amount, incredible amount of forward planning with these. These do not count towards your hand size. And uh, there you go. They add an extra element to Munchkin. All versions of Munchkin. And that, in a nutshell, is what you're going to get inside of Munchkin Side Quest. All right, then. Munchkin Side Quest from Steve Jackson Games. What are my final thoughts? Let's go over the pros. Let's go over the cons. First, on the con side. This is not, I think, going to change enough about the game to really persuade people who don't like Munchkin to like Munchkin. Like, it doesn't, in my opinion, make the lower player counts like two players, which I guess you can play two players, which is kind of crazy. Uh, doesn't make that better. It does shorten the game, but it's not by a substantial amount. So, you know, if you don't like Munchkin, this is not going to change your mind. That's what I got. I mean, moving on to the pros, Munchkin Side Quest, this is an incredibly easy review to do. I got a chance to play with it, and I was like, oh, yeah, I like this. I'm never not going to play with this. Even if I'm teaching someone Munchkin, I'm still going to play with this, because the bottom line is... If you like Munchkin, get this. It's simple to add. It adds an extra unique element to the game. And it speeds up the game a little bit, which is always a con that most people have with Munchkin, is that it can get a little bit slow and a little bit drawn out, especially towards the end. And while I say a little bit, a lot of people say a lot of it. So this is going to speed up the game a little bit. And it doesn't take anything away from the game. It adds like this sneaky secret information aspect to the game, which I like. I mean, your cards are secret, the ones in your hand. But now you have secret objective cards. And you can knock out, you know, three of these on a turn. And if you happen to get the right stuff at the right time, I mean, you can jump up in levels really fast, which increases the speed of the game, which is great. So in the end, Munchkin, side quest, simple. Do you like Munchkin? Get this. End of the story. Don't like Munchkin. Don't get this. For me personally, this is going to my big, huge box of Munchkin, and I will play with it every single time. Wholeheartedly recommendation from me, if you like Munchkin. Can't say words today. If you're enjoying this review, please sure to click on that subscribe button down below in the comments below. Let me know what is your... Or, let's, let's mix it up. If you could have a Munchkin theme about anything, what would it be? With the same 
good sense of humor that is from the original game. Me personally, I would like a, uh, you know what, I think, off the top of my head, I think I would like a circus munchkin. I think there is a lot of humorous things they could do with the circus theme. So I think circus munchkin would be a nice one. But let me know in the comments below, what's a munchkin that you would love to see? And as always, thanks for your time, YouTube.